Oh hey, welcome to another edition of Handmade Tracks and 3D Printed Things with Socrates. Olympic medals! You know, I was thinking I could go train, become an athlete, do all sorts of work, maybe get a lot younger, and go to the Olympic Games. Maybe I could win a medal. But instead I decided, I'll print my own. I won three medals. Mostly in the Paralympics, and they still lose in the Paralympics. That's a sad fact when you realize that you're at an age that you couldn't win in the Paralympics. Not even close. i definitely come in last in all events. But I've got a bunch of medals. Gold, silver, even a bronze. You can have one too. Print them up on Colts. Basically, I used a uh, couple techniques to make this. There's a level change. There's a layer color change in the bottom to go from the background color to the gray which is actually supposed to be a silver or a, it's the middle is actually a piece from the Eiffel Tower somehow they took pieces out of the Eiffel Tower and made them into the metals and then using a Z-hop get the letters in there and then another color change you do the end of the diamonds on the top there so this is how I slice the pieces in there's three pieces for the metal and there's a little key that doesn't print around the piece but it's actually there on all three pieces and that key puts them in the same place so you put the first one in and then you add them one at a time and they'll all stack in the same place. I'm using Simplicity 3D Slicer. It's a little different for each and every different slicer. But the first one has no hop because it's on the bottom. But it has a change filament code added at the ending script. And it also has a change color in uh, the middle where it goes from the color of the main body to the gray or whatever your hexagonal shape color is going to be. So in this case, that's on layer, it ends here on layer 63, so you change the color at layer 64. And I have a, and one before that, I have a beep as well. So it beeps to alert you a, a minute or a layer beforehand, and another beep when it automatically kicks out the color and asks you to change the color. And then you put in the, the gray, you hit the button, and it continues printing, and it'll finish out the, the outside color in that gray. And that's the first of the three prints. And the way you determine that height is inside the slicer, you find the point where it stops printing the outside piece, the last layer where it prints on the outside, you go one up, because in the beginning of that next layer is where it's going to insert that line. So whatever this layer is, it could be 70, it could be 20, and on layer 21, if it's layer 20, you add that change color line. I'm including the G-codes in the in the file so if you can use if you want to use mine it prints in the middle of the bed mine's a CR 10 v3 but it'll print in the middle of the bed I think on any on any setup and then there's three files so basically you delete the two of them so you just have the one and that allows you to go ahead and slice it and then I use control Z to bring them back then delete the other two in this case this is a second one now this is the first that needs a Z hop because it has to hop over so there is a Z hop implied in there and also it has a color change at the end and there's no script in the middle to do the color change so each one's a little different and so go ahead and slice that as well and you can see it's hanging in space so it wants you to do a support don't do support because it's hanging in space where it's supposed to be save it out control Z back out again brings the three pieces up highlight the other two delete them out of the slicer again this is a lot more work if you've got ten pieces like in that Mother's Day thing I made and the last one also has Z-Hop, but it has no ending color change because it's the end of the process and there's no internal color change. And it's a quick little print because it makes these little tiny diamonds on the top. So one print makes this, the gold and the gray. Second print makes the text. Third print makes the little diamonds. And they're sort of stacked up in the same place. And like I say, you can slice it yourself that way or you can use my G-Codes included as well. Either way works. Make sure you have a Z-Hop at least 0.8 millimeters because the black is about 0.6 millimeters deep. Uh, I'm also, and this is in the SketchUp, you can see the three parts of the, of the model. And it has a little loop in the back so you can put your ribbon around through it so you can wear it with pride. Go Olympics! Yay! Gold medal! But the uh, three pieces have, you can see that ring around the outside is the key I make. That way everything goes at the same place. That's the main the first body, as you can see, it has uh, it's flat here. It has gap for the for the text, and the second piece is just the text, again with a wrap around it, so you can make sure they're in the same place. And the third piece is just the triangles 
again with the key circle around it and those are the three parts of the model basically and I included as well a single piece model in case you just want to print it as one piece with no color changes at all and it'll just print basically the same shape and the letters will just be recessed down as opposed to colored at all still has the same loop in the back and for the most part it wasn't too hard you push the ribbon in there wiggle wiggle it came through and those are the two different ways you can print it get yourself an Olympic gold medal yeah, and that's going to be on the Colts contest it's a little trophy contest so if you can like it download it uh, if you make it please put a make up there check it out on Colts and uh, print yourself up a Olympic gold medal part of the Colts trophy contest figure it's Olympic time get yourself some Olympic medals make yourself a medal because you're a winner we're all winners <laughs> well if you can't be a winner at least you can print yourself up a trophy check it out on Colts Handlay Tracks doesn't have a theme song, didn't win a contest, trying to win a contest. Handlay Tracks still doesn't have a theme song or a contest win, but Handlay Tracks still trying to win a contest, trying to win a contest, doing ups and trains and such, trying to make a theme song, but I didn't. So this was the song today.